Hey everybody, here's another water comparison video. Tonight we're comparing these three canned sparkling waters called Bubbly. Bubbly is a new sparkling water beverage made by Pepsi. So we have lime, grapefruit, and mango. Bubbly. Um, this is a fairly new sparkling water. I think it just started, you know, being made a couple weeks ago, or maybe maybe a couple months ago. Um, but it's, it's from Pepsi. I saw a commercial for this at the Oscars, and I actually purchased it online a couple days before that. And um, you're probably going to see this in a lot of stores because it's from Pepsi. Pepsi has all, like, this extra money to advertise and to make sure it gets in a lot of stores. So you're probably going to see it in all, like, the major chain grocery stores. Um, it's bubbly. I think it's pretty good branding. I think the logo is good. I think the uh, the color schemes are good. And if you look on the top of them, they have different colored tabs. It's not the first time I've seen that, but I think it's still a neat little extra touch. And it's not just different colors. They also have little messages on the tabs themselves. You say like, hey, hi, hello, how you doing? What's going on? How you doing today? Hey, what's up? They say stuff like that on the tabs. And um, so I think it's good, you know, good graphic design on all the bottles and all the cans. And so the first thing I think of when I hear the, the name Bubbly is an SNL sketch called Ham and Bubbly. Good evening. I'm John Ham. If you're looking for a romantic night out at a restaurant that specializes in pork dishes and fine champagne, and look no further than ham and bubbly. It's actually pronounced buble. Well, buble doesn't work, so now it's pronounced bubbly. And uh, that's just that's what I think of, because it's like stuck in my mind, bubbly. Um, and uh, yeah, so check that out. I think the packaging is also very good. This is from Amazon. This box was inside of a bigger box with padding around it, and. Each individual can also has cardboard around it, which is a good, you know, a good thing. I've, I've had stuff shipped to me from Amazon cans where the cans are just sitting next to each other, but I think it's good that they did the extra padding to make sure it's extra secure for, like, for each can. And they have padding around the whole box. So, thumbs up. Normally I don't even point out the, the box or the package, but they just did a, a good job with that. So here we go. This is, these are very similar to LaCroix. I think LaCroix is gaining a lot of popularity in the past few years, and I think that's what they're trying to go after. So let's just open it up and do a taste test comparison. Here we go. Here is Lime Bubbly. There's a smell of lime. It, there's a little bit of a... It smells like a floor cleaner a little bit. So, the reviews on Amazon are very cut down the middle. It's like half the people give it five stars, half the people give it one stars. Uh, so some people say it's like the best beverage ever. This is better than soda. This is the best thing. This is terrific. And then, for example, Brian Nordhoff says it's the worst tasting beverage ever. <laughs> um, I disagree with both of those people. Both of those reviews in my opinion it i would give it like two and a half or three stars on amazon because i think it just it's okay it's not the worst thing i've ever had like brian says brian nordhoff brian i bet you've never tasted the water jug water because <laughs> that was a lot worse than this It's just like average. It's kind of it's a little bit bland for soda, but it's a little bit too much flavor for water. Um, I think it's a little bit worse than Lacroix, but it's also just very similar. Okay, here is mango. It does. It smells like mango. Or maybe like a little bit of cantaloupe. Maybe. Uh, Maybe a little peach. I 
all three of these have zero calories, zero carbs, zero sugar, zero fat. But all of that, all of them do have 10 milligrams of sodium. So like all their nutritional information is basically the same. And their ingredients say carbonated water and natural flavors. That's very vague. I wish they would give more detail than that. Just natural flavors. Like they don't give any more detail than that. Uh, but I think the fact that it smells is kind of a good sign. I think if it was if it was all like done in a laboratory, it would have less of that actual fruit smell to it. So it's kind of a good sign. And here is grapefruit. This has less of a smell to it. Yeah, I'd say out of the three, this is the worst. This is this just tastes like, just like sugar. Just like sugary, you know, carbonated water. So I'm gonna eliminate the grapefruit out of, the, out of this three. And so which is the winner? They also have like messages on them right here. It says love at first Psst. and then one of them says I feel like I can be open around you and another one says hold cans with me instead of holding hands it says hold cans with me so again I think it's neat that they have like a variety of messages and a variety of colors <coughs> excuse me it would have been very easy for them to just make all the cans exactly the same. Um, but these messages are different for each flavor. It's not it's not different for each can. So, like, all the lime ones have the same messages. I wish they would do, like, a, you know, a different version for each can. You know, when you go to a Chinese restaurant and you get fortune cookies, and every single fortune is different. Like, I, I've probably been to a Chinese place hundreds of times. And I've never gotten the same fortune. Why can't they do that with cans? Um, put, they'll put like a different message. Maybe on the bottom of each can. Like, you know, on a Snapple cap, they have those fun facts. Why can't they do that for, you know, cans? That's what I would do, if, you know. Or did, did Snapple copyright that? Putting a fun fact on your product? Like, what would, what would it cost them? An extra half a penny to add a variety of messages to it? I mean, it's just mass produced just make a list of a thousand different messages that you could put on um a can like fun facts or something like that okay so i'm gonna pick the winner and this this really just comes down to my own personal opinion I don't really like sparkling water. If you've been watching for a while, you, you know that. I've said that so many times. Okay. I'm going to say the winner is the lime. It just... It actually tastes like lime... And, um, I guess it's just my personal preference. You know, maybe if you love grapefruit, maybe you would have picked grapefruit, but, uh, you know, I like lime, so I'm going with, going with lime. Alright, thanks for watching, everyone.